you know, I kind of, in playing guitar and being a guitar player, kind of cut my teeth on the on the awesome 80s guitar players. And it had to have been George Lynch. You know, I, he had to have been the first guy I ever saw that was playing an ESP guitar. And, you know, those guitars just look iconic. And I think he still make the ones today that he was playing way back then. So it was probably through George, seeing George Lynch play them was probably the first introduction I had to ESP. I absolutely was, man. I was transcribing all the solos and looking at all the pictures and checking out his gear. So absolutely, man. Yeah, big fan. There's actually an SN200FR, which was a killer Strat type guitar. I still have it. It's like my favorite Strat type guitar that I have. You know, um, always been a fan of single cut style guitars. And, but a lot of them feel a little bit clunky. And uh, the EC256 being kind of a sleeked out version of that, um, that's what really did it for me. It was just the sleeked out version of the single cut style just fits me perfect. It's like the most comfortable guitar I've ever played in my life. <laughs> to be honest, when I got the first CC256, I was blown away right out of the box. You know, I mean, the fret work, immediately I noticed the fret work was awesome. Straight, I, I could have taken this guitar out of the box, walked on stage and did a gig. So just the feel of the guitar, the, 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 the fret work was awesome, again, straight out of the box. Um, <clears throat> as I was playing the guitar, the first thing I do when I get into a guitar is I put it on and I walk around the apartment and play it, just see how it feels. Just the feel of the guitar was just like, again, perfect for me. And then um, uh, compared to most guitars, usually the first thing I do is swap out the pickups, right? So I'm using these Blankenship, uh, Roy Blankenship, uh, Marshall style amps and when I plugged the guitar in it just sounded phenomenal um, I had my favorite aftermarket pickup on the desk waiting to switch it out but when I plugged it in with just a stock pickup I was like man this thing sounds great because those amps really let the, the the guitar come through right so it's literally the first guitar I've ever bought that I changed nothing friends through that you know I mean it's like some of the guys that I've met through the all access we find each other on Facebook and then we're like checking each other's videos out and it's like yeah it's been it's been great it's exposed me to a lot of different people and I've made a lot of new friends just because of it you know power tribe band that's my baby that's like a straight up metal band that's the music I grew up listening to that we're kind of playing in that style and it's my favorite thing to play. Um, so it's just, again, straight up metal, kind of like a modern day Dio Iron Maiden type of style. And gigs, you know, most of our gigs are in LA. We've done some cool gigs open for bands like uh, Dawkin and Jeff Tate, um, John Five. So 
those are the kind of gigs we've been doing and stuff like that. You know, it's pretty simple. I'm usually building tracks in Pro Tools. Um, I'm in an apartment, so I'm not using a live drummer. I use a program called Easy Drummer 2 for the mm -hmm. drums. So I'm usually just writing, you know, building the drums. And then, you know, bass wise, I'm actually using an ESP B55 bass when I'm doing the bass tracks. And then that's just basically straight into Pro Tools. And then what I'll do is I'll just, I'll set up my iPhone camera and I'll just, you know, record me on the camera as I'm recording, playing the track into Pro Tools. And then once that's done, it's super simple on my phone. I just send the audio, I bounce it down and, you know, do mastering and effects, whatever I want to add. I just bounce it down into a stereo track, send it to my phone, and then just go into a little movie program and sync the audio that I've recorded in Pro Tools to the video that I had on my camera. It's all Power Tribe, man. We just we've just finished a new recording that was mixed and mastered by a, a guy named Jacob Hansen out of Denmark. He's done bands like um, Amaranth and Flotsam and Jetsam and Udo and um, Epica, and so he mixed and mastered our recording. We're in the process of uh, shopping that to labels right now. Labels and managers just trying to find someone that can help us build take that band to the next level and so we're working on that and then we're just you know planning on doing some shows and getting out there and pounding the pavement you know soldier, fighting for our lives.